Yes, young man of God, ask away. Apostle John. The beloved, yes. What, you always teach us on how to love like Jesus. Mm -hmm. I am the apostle of love after all. <laughs> but how is it like in heaven? Oh, you're talking about my Patmos days? Yes. Okay, um, well, do you like lamps? Yes. Yeah, there are a lot of lamps there. Uh, do you like uh, crowns? Yes. Prepare to throw them down. Do you like uh, angels and trumpets and lamb? Yes. Do you like weddings? I don't really understand. Well, it's, it's quite hard for a lot of people to understand, but there is grace available. If you keep believing and seeking God, some of the things that you don't understand in due time, you will understand because God gives you that grace. Just keep thinking about it, keep praying about it, and keep wondering about it, and God will reveal it to you. And that's a very special grace. A grace that I saw some crazy things, but I've learned to understand them over time. And dog, uh, get ready, there's a beast with ten heads coming very soon. <laughs> uh, grace is good. Yes. Get the Bible in your heart, and you will play a part. It's memory verse time. Oh, hi, Jordan. Hi. Uh, you look a little low. How did kids' church go today? Not really good. Oh, tell me, what happened? First, Johnny took my phone and he cracked the screen. Oh, okay. Then what happened? And then Johnny he took my snack and I was left with nothing. Oh, rough. Jordan, listen. I was just reading in Ephesians and it says that to every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. Look at this, kids. To every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Jordan, do you think Jesus ever had a bad day? No way. Okay, hold on. Jesus said to the young ruler who wanted to follow him, he said, look, foxes have dens and birds have nests, but the Son of Man doesn't even have a place to lay his head. In other words, he didn't have the comfortable life, but he had grace. In fact, it says in the Bible that Jesus brought grace and truth to us all. Now, grace is power, Grace is might, grace is love, and grace is Jesus. So when I have hard days, and I do have some, <laughs> where I don't really enjoy doing the cleanup, or maybe it's been a rough day and I've been up till 1.30 in the morning helping somebody else, and I come in and still have to bring it, I reach for the grace of Jesus because it's really clear in the Bible that he, each of us are given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. And Jesus gave everything. He gave his life. He gave up being in heaven with God to come to the earth to save all of humanity. Jesus is exactly, when I look up grace, I see the word Jesus. And that's why we do kids ministry, right? Yeah. Yeah. And when we just let the love of Jesus touch our heart again, it's like a reset button. All of a sudden, ah, I can do it again. Do you think you can do it again? Of course. All right, kids, just remember that grace is the power of God to live on this earth in the, in the love of Jesus. It's the power of God by the Holy Spirit to be like God, to be holy and righteous and kind and give and keep on giving and never quit. That's the grace that Jesus gave us because he never quit us and he'll never quit you. And we won't quit either, right, Jordan? Yep. You got it. <laughs>